So you have a couple of bones that you're trying to take out of the shoulder. So we're going to start by turning the shoulder inside up so that the outside is facing away from us. And we're going to butterfly it along the right side of the seam so that we can see that division. One thing that makes it really easy to spot is to look for the section where there is a lot of blood and tissue and sinew connecting in that area. That's going to tell you where that joint is. So there's the joint. We do want to start by removing that arm bone or humerus. It's a round bone that connects to the shoulder blade, which looks like a paddle. So we're going to go in and go around, basically doing a tunnel cut. Just take your knife and with the point, just cut all the way around so that you leave as much of the meat on the shoulder as possible. When you get to that top, you're going to have a ball and socket connection. The socket is going to be the shoulder blade. The ball is going to be the arm bone. So very easy to remove. Now, to get the shoulder blade out, you're going to do another butterfly cut just like that. You'll see it start to reveal itself. And then you can just peel the meat away so that you can see that triangle-shaped shoulder. So the socket's at the top at 12 o'clock and just taking your knife and tracing along the left side of that seam and then going back, butterflying the right side of that seam so that you can see the bone fully exposed. Now, if you take it and you scooch it down a little bit and then press your hand against the flat part of the shoulder blade, that helps you to move and get around the narrower end of the bone. Once you've got that a little bit more revealed and outlined, then you can take a towel and holding down on the meat, use it as a lever to pull it out. Now the colder the meat is, the easier it is going to be for you to pull that shoulder blade out. But in the case that it doesn't come away easily, you can just take your knife and just do some minor trimming and it comes away. So starting with the shank, you take the shank off of the lower part of the shoulder first. Once the shank's been removed, you can take the short ribs away. Then you're going to go in and remove the arm bone. The shoulder blade is the last bone to come out. After that, you'll have a boneless shoulder roast that can be cut into two to three smaller roasts or stuffed and roasted whole intact as one whole piece.